Hello Highlights, my name is Ashwini Anand, this is Minecraft and we are in Chennai Mathematical Institute. Today we will be discussing the complexity of solving games with combination of objectives using separating automata. This is a joint work with Nathaniel Fijalko and Jerome Leroux. We will consider games on labeled graphs played between two players, Adam and Eve, with certain winning objectives on the infinite sequence of labels generated by the play. There are some well-known objectives, one of which is parity, and we denote it by P. It says that Eve wins the game if the maximum of the infinitely many times occurring label is even, and Adam wins otherwise. Another well-known objective is mean payoff, which we denote by MP, and it says that Eve wins the game if the average limit of the infinite sequence is non-negative, and again Adam wins otherwise. For mean payoff, we consider two variants, one which limit supremum of the averages, another which limit infimum of the averages. Then we have the combination of objectives which we denote by O1 or O2 and E wins O1 or O2 if projection of the infinite sequence on first coordinate satisfies O1 or that on second coordinate satisfies O2. These O1s and O2 can be parity or mean payoff with the two variants. Now we will see an example of such a game. Here we have an example with parity or mean payoff with infimum. That means we want parity in the first coordinate or mean payoff with infimum in the second coordinate. A run in this game looks like this. We take 3 1 and go to B. We again take 3 1 and come back to A. 3 1 and go to B. 3 1 and so on. This run satisfies parity or mean payoff because it satisfies mean payoff with infimum in the second coordinate. Some other runs of this game are here. The second run satisfies parity or mean payoff with infimum because it satisfies parity in the first coordinate. The last one doesn't satisfy parity or mean payoff with infimum because it neither satisfies parity in the first coordinate nor mean payoff with infimum in the second coordinate. Now we see the motivation for studying these games. These objectives are useful in synthesis of systems satisfying multiple constraints. Qualitative constraints like reachability of a good behavior or quantitative like power consumption. Now we define what separating automata for a winning condition W is. It is just an automata A with safety acceptance condition such that it satisfies following two conditions. First, for all n size graphs satisfying W, A accepts all the path in the graph and second, a rejects all the path not satisfying W. The following theorem by Kolkombe and Fijalko allow us to reduce these games with positional objective W to just constructing a separating automata for W. We will construct the separating automata for combination of objectives using the separating automata for individual objectives as black boxes. We now see the separating automata for combination of multiple mean payoff with infimum objectives, where k is the number of mean payoff objectives combined. Chatterjee and Fellner have already solved these games, but we give a better complexity for this, that is, we reduce the exponent on w to k. We achieve this complexity by giving a separating automata of size O of n power k times w power k. And the idea is to reduce the problem to construction of separating automata for a strongly connected graph and then to construct the latter using the property that a strongly connected graph satisfying this condition also satisfies mean payoff with infimum in one of its coordinates. Now we see the separating automata for parity or mean payoff with infimum. Deviard and others have given a pseudo quasi polynomial time algorithm for solving these games. We match the complexity of these games by constructing a separating automata of size d times size of separating automata for parity times size of separating automata for mean payoff with infimum, where d is the highest level in the parity coordinate. The idea is to keep simulating the separating automata for mean payoff with infimum and to simulate parity separating automata with maximum priority when the earlier reject and reject the run when the parity separating automata rejects. The construction for parity or mean payoff with supremum is exactly the same. To summarize, we give a better complexity algorithm for combination of multiple mean payoff with infimum objective with the separation approach. We match the best known complexity of solving games with parity or mean payoff using separating automata. We do not know how to construct separating automata for combination of multiple mean payoff objectives with limit supremum and leave it as an open question 
An alternative algorithm based on linear programming is due to Chatterjee and Fellner. Thank you. I can take some questions if you have any.